Good noon, good morning, good evening everyone. We are day 26 of Wrinkles Dive. How are you today? May your weekdays were as beautiful as you are and you have consistently done the positive things that you set yourself to do. I am Arms, an income diversification strategist, and my mission is making people live better. So yesterday, we have concluded the Slight Edge book by Jeff Olson. So, and all we need to do is we keep our eyes on the prize. Hi, Defra! Good noon. Thanks for being here. So, Saan na tayo ngayon? Where we do we go from here? Diba? All we need to do is we find our penny and start doubling it in our health, happiness, relationship, personal development, finances, career, and our impact in the world. So, speaking of finances, today is our Saving Saturday. And we will talk about our spiritual fund. So, when we speak of spiritual fund, it is our funds um, we're giving up to prosper the work of our God. So, consider this. Whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly and whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Everyone must give according to what he has inwardly decided without sadness or compulsion. For God loves a cheerful giver. Moreover, God is able to make every grace abundant for us so that we may always have enough for everything and every surplus for good works. That is from Corinthians 9, 6 to 8. So, ano yung spiritual fund na sinasabi ko dito? So, it should be our money we set aside for our tithes or what we call, uh, ano to? Uh, if we have more than enough, we can share these resources aside from our tight So, hi, Manong Paul. Hi, Roderick. Good noon. So, ba't kailangan natin itong gawin? Because we acknowledge that we are stewards of God's generosity in our lives. God has entrusted us all the wealth that we have whether they be our business earnings our salary income our investments or our other assets our heartfelt gratitude prompt us to give back what we have received we can give back through i through our tithing or we have or if we have more than enough in our wallet or in our bank accounts we can extend our generosity through resource sharing or by donating to some charitable institutions or giving alms to the needy. So, ito yung three basic ways where we can use our finances to the Lord. First, our tithing. So, our tithing means it is a 10% of our income after tax. Our income may be derived from our salaries, investment, business, or other sources of incomes. Our tithe should be our gifts to God, ministries, and its people. So we can give this to church where we get our spiritual nourishment. It could be, or it could be in the organizations where we support or we volunteer our services with. Because kailangan din naman nila yung pera from, from generous people and that is including us. So, you can divide it. It depends on you. When we budget our money, our tithings or we could uh, paying it forward should be given should be given the first priority. That should give it is it is should be above in all other expenses. Of course, hindi naman yung tithe it's hindi naman siya don compulsory donation or a forced contribution. Rather it should be an expression of our gratitude for all the blessings that God has given us. So, if it, kung hindi dahil sa mga 
generous na tao that uh, surround us around the world, our church and our religious communities or NGOs would not would never be where they are today. And speaking of generous, that includes you, that includes me. So, tithings were already practiced in ancient times. The people of God gave, gave the best of their harvest in the temple treasury. In Proverbs 3.9, it says, Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your products. So, ano yung first fruits ng products natin? Of course, when we are working, that is our salary. If we are, we have in business, that is our income. So, tithings should reflect the condition of our heart and our belief that when we put God first, He will provide whatever we need in life. As He says in Malachi, bring the whole tithes into the storehouse, which is the temple treasury, that there may be food in my house. And try me in this, says the Lord. Shall I not open for you the floodgates of heaven to pour down blessings upon you without measure? So God is challenging us for giving our a portion of what we are, uh, we are earning for Him. So, when I first learned about this tithing, of course, and fully understood this meaning is when I am actively serving and involved in our spiritual community. So, of course, the first thing that would should the first thing I do is to divide my income for the church and for the community. So, faithful tithing is a constant challenge, especially when we are short of cash. However, God can never be outdone, outdone in His generosity. He will always meet our needs, even provide for our wants. Siguro naman na experience na natin yon lahat. Second is resource sharing. So means nito is lending our money without any rest, or giving it to those who need immediate assistance or help for specific needs. Usually, uh, yung resource, uh, resources natin, share natin for those people who approaches us that um, he or that person needs immediate assistance. Sometimes, hospital bills or may, ma- may nangyaring hindi maganda sa buhay nila. It's a long, it's a prolonged illness or pe- perhaps it is needed for immediate surgery that must be performed. So, there are always people that um, we can use our finances to help. Perhaps someone needs um, to survive for day to day. Someone may need um, their uh, immediate repairs for their home because of recent calamity na nangyari. Dahil yung, yung bahay nila is, hindi, is unhabitable na. So, victims of natural calamity sometimes depends on the generosity of those who are fortunate enough to be spared from these disasters. We can channel our financial assistance through trustworthy organizations and mobilize volunteers and accept donations. So, we should give such contributions aside from our tithes or regularly or the what we re- regularly give. So, or you, of course, if you have more than enough, you can loan your money without interest for those who need assistance. Alam mo naman yun, see to it that you evaluate the extent of the need and a written agreement should be drawn with regards to the terms of payment including how many months or years the loan can be paid off. Next, almsgiving. Alms is either in cash or in goods. It's given freely to the needy. It is voluntarily contribution uh, to help those in need. People who do not have the same opportunities and material wealth that we are blessed with. So, yung sometimes yung debate, marami namang charitable organizations. So, pwede natin ibigay doon. Or we can simply share our material blessings to those beggar and the, or living in the streets. 
Alms giving is different from tithings. Just the alms you give must not be deducted from your tithes. So, have you tried giving 1,000 pesos or $100 bill to a beggar in the street? Hmm. Why not try it even just once in your lifetime? Your kind act may produce a ripple effect. Perhaps it can save a life or it could have a massive positive impact on the life of the recipient. We would never know. That is why in our one of our group right now in, in, our, in my current business, we are encouraged to do Wealth Wednesdays. So during Wealth Wednesdays, all we could do here is give someone or somebody or a stranger that uh, hindi, hindi siya makakagive back to you. So, yun. Ah, yun yung tanong natin, what if I don't have enough? Siyempre, marami, marami yung magtatanong nito. So, paano ako magbibigay kung I don't have enough? But remember the story in the Bible about the widow's might? It tells the story of a poor widow who, out of her poverty, put, naglagay siya ng two small coins in the sem the temple treasury while the other who have more than enough uh, nagbibigay ng, ng, mas, ng, ng mas marami. So, yung, yung ano kasi yung, yung weight ng, 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 ng widow, yung substance ng, ng, ng binigay niya is more than compared to those uh, wealthy people who give out of their excess. Diba? Out of their excess. Kasi meron naman talaga yon. But there are people who out of their wealth who gave uh, for example uh, there were billionaires in the world who gave 90% of what they are earning to their foundation or to the uh, whatever they would choose to give with. So, if you can't afford to type, meaning you have not left to feed your family, giving a partial is acceptable as what it is um, teaches us. But at the beginning of their chapter, diba, no one is forcing us to type. We type out of our conviction that God allows us to participate in the work of evangelization and renewal to the ends of the earth. So, God does not need our money, so take note of that. But we have the responsibility to continue the work that He began and entrusted with us. Remember, those who are responsible were into the path of success curve. So, it is not just an obligation, but it is a privilege that it is the right thing to do. So, with all the blessings that we enjoy here on earth, our skills, our talents, every opportunity that He has given us to earn a living, to have the things that we need and wants, we are asked is just the 10% of what we are earning, not 90%. Because the 90% is all ours to keep. To quote T. Harv Ecker in his book, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind, the mark of true wealth is determined by how much one can give away. So, no matter what, it could be 10 pesos, 20 pesos, 100 pesos, a million pesos, nasa sa ating yun. There is no way for us to know the positive ripple effect that way may cause when we give our tithes. Dahil yung 10 piso natin, pag isang million tayong nagbibigay nun, that is 10 million. So, when we type, we always we allow ourselves to perhaps heal one soul at a time. As for me, I am now equipping myself to earn ex to earn extremely enough for my needs so that I can con I can fulfill my lifelong goal to give away not just the 10% but more. So, hopefully we should start learning that God does not need our money, but there are His ministries and people that 
might be needing it and we are his instruments of generosity and love so thank you all for being here with me on day 26 of wrinkles live and to those who are watching on replace anyways for those who are open sa isang oportunidad we have our zoom online business presentation on march 13 at 9 p.m that is wednesday so just go to my profile send me a message that you want to be a part of it and i will i would send you the link so sino yung makakaalam kung ito na ang inaantay mo na pagkakataon to be in the five percent living in the success curve alamin ito sa march 13 wednesday at 9 p.m see you there kita kids thank you all good noon good afternoon good day good night and tomorrow see you on the wrinkles live day 27 and we are all out on our serenity sundays and tomorrow that would be the gift of wisdom thank you all have a great day salamat